now we are going to finally finish this dunkable um tic-tac-toe game project this is part three and let's get started all right so last time we added a function we did check winner x and we added them to each we added them to each of the click the button clicks thing so when someone clicks the button it disables and does all this stuff right all right, so now we're going to finish this. So we're gonna get this function and we're going to add a, couple, a lot of blocks, actually a lot of blocks. So we're gonna, if to else block, and we're gonna first edit it, we're gonna add a lot of this else, else if before the else. Or basically you can get rid of the else and you can just put a lot of else if. We need like seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and put an else block. That should be big enough. All right. So once you finish doing that, what you have to do is you have to go get a logic block, and you have to get an equal sign, an and, and another equal sign, and another equal sign, and one more and. So three equal signs and two ants. So first we're going to take our first ant, put an equal sign in one of the boxes, take another ant, put that inside the ant, ant box. Then we put the equal signs inside of the inside of the ant. Well, that's set up. Now we just got to fill in the values. So for the um, first box, we're going to keep a list. So we're going to get. Uh, that's the wrong one. We are going to get this one. So it's in list with we're going to change and it's going to be number one. So now we're going to get a variable. And with a variable, we're going to keep, we're going to keep our variable list. Make sure it's list, not any other variable. And we're going to get a math block and we're going to call the math block we're going to keep one in there, right? Because that's for player one. Now, there's one here only because that's the combinations you can do. So, you can do, you can do boxes one. Oh, what happened? Where did this come from? Anybody know where this come from? Oh, yeah, now I do. <laughs> so, basically, it's like all the combinations you can do to win. So, which boxes you can do to win. So I'm just going to preview in a new window, back to editing, and blocks. So we can do 1, 2, and 3. We can do 4, 5, and 6. We can do 7, 8, and 9. We can do 1, um, 4, and 7. We can do 2, 5, and 8. We can do 3, 6, and 9. We can do 1, um, 5, and 9. We can do 3, 5, and 7. So you can do all of those. So that's what we're going to keep in there. Alright, so... I think that was like one, two, three. That's three for the first, three, and then two. So yeah, I think it's eight. We're supposed to get eight, but that's okay. We can get more later. So that's gonna equal again another one. I wanna put that there. that's going to be 1, 2, and that's going to be a 3. So basically we're just copying that line multiple times, but just changing some of the values up. That's going to be um, 2, I mean 4, 5, and 6. 5 and 6. Now I'm just kind of small, make the size a little smaller, so I can quickly just get this done. So next one, what we're going to do, we're going to keep, instead of 4, 5, and 6, now we're going to do 7, change that to an 8, we're going to change that to a 9. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy that again, we're going to paste that, we're going to put, um, now we've done all the combinations for across, now we can do top to bottom, so 1, 4, and 7. That's going to be our first one so we can do we can do i guess yeah two five and eight five and then eight 
then we can copy that. We can paste it again. Oh, that came down there. We can do. We did two. Now we can do three. Three, six, and nine. And then what we can do is we can. We can copy that again. Paste it. Then we're gonna do the diagonals. Now, so the tag. So for the diagonals, what we're going to do is we're going to do one, five, and nine. Perfect. Then paste that again. All right, that's going to be three, five, and seven. So those are going to be the numbers. Now, do you mind remembering, like, you forgot the do box? No, I didn't. Now we're going to come back to the do block right now. So we're going to put this navigate. We're going to navigate to player one win because this is for player one winning. And all of these in list are just combinations um, player one can get to win. block and I'll get an if do block and we're gonna put the if do block inside the else make sure it's not if else because if it's if else then that won't work okay and now we're going to keep um we're gonna get an equal sign and we're going to get the variable available terms and we're gonna make if so we're basically saying if the available terms left for each if the available terms left for um, player one is zero. It's going to navigate to the losers slash tie page. Tie, tie, tie. So that's basically it. That's basically all you have to do for this function. Now we're going to go ahead and copy that. And we're going to paste that in this section. And instead of being called check x2 we we'll check winner o so that's going to be for you know player two who's playing with o now what we're going to do is we're going to first switch these all player ones to player twos wins oh nope i don't need that nope no thank you all right and then we are going to do these ones too. Do not do the if block because the if block has to go to the losers slash tie. So in the else section, don't change that part. Now we're going to go ahead and go back to these ones and change them all to twos. Two, 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 two. There are like 21 of these ones that we have to replace like now there's 14 left two 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 oh two how do you right click oh whatever replace that and then we are going to put the two here I'm going to change that to a two, two, let's have this, two, 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 and that's going to change to a two. Those are all changed. Now, finally, our last step of this is to put that right underneath, oh, no, gonna, not the X one. But O, we're going to put that right underneath the X. Just going to copy that. You can put it in every section. Oops. Don't move the page. I keep on moving the page. Oh, that's supposed to go underneath. And that's, oh, 
there we go that goes there and that goes there and that's it now let's go ahead and try we're gonna see player one win one player two will win one and then play um not player three sorry and then we're gonna see a tie see player one won that time and um player two oh my bad Player two wins, yay! And now let's finally see the tie. <laughs> Sorry, that took me. I don't know why it took me so long to say. All right, there we go. That works. Now I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna add some gifs. So I'm gonna put like one gif where it's like, um, I like. I guess you win. You could do that. And like um I win the shift. Ooh, this one looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna um I guess I could just copy the image. I guess I could just paste it onto a new tab. Alright, just fix again. I guess I could just paste it here. Nope. Image, image, I'm going to give it a full source, um, copy that, I guess I could do that, I can paste it here, there we go, that worked. There, that looks nice. And then for this one, I guess I have to keep home. Um, winner, Jeff, I guess. Um, we can put. I guess I could put. Um, no. Um, I guess we could just, like, do that one. Yeah, that's nice. So, like, you can put, like, many different GIFs if you want to. Um, because, like, I like this one. I'm just giving you guys, like, ideas what you guys can search up if you guys want to. Taking a little long. Thank you. Well, I mean, I can. I guess I'll leave that one, and I'll just type in. Oh, what's this one? I'm doing that one. Okay. copy that and I could insert an image there and then I could paste it I can make it so that that is here to make that scroll down there I mean that's nice and then I guess here I could just get like and I guess we could just go here I guess oh there's a lot here Cause that's nice. <laughs> um, I like that one. 
I can't take it down with the GIF. And I haven't opened it. Um, I can put an image in here and then upload my file. Open. Now I can make it big. And there we go. That actually looks nice. Well, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give me a huge thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. See you guys later. Bye.